Warning, this content may be disturbing to some audiences. Subscribe. If you dare. I remember having my mind completely blown by the fact that spray cheese existed, and our American hosts finding it hilarious. Hey everybody, welcome to, an Ectost. People ask Reddit. Non-American Redditors who have visited here, what surprised you the first time you came to the US? Number 1. I'm from Germany. First time in the USA was 1993 or so. I was reluctant to visit the USA, though I knew the country, from TV series like Knight Rider, A-Team etc. I know stupid, but I was young and sure I would already know the USA. I was very biased. Then in 1993 I traveled with two friends to LA. This was a life-changing moment for me. I wish everyone would visit the states in their younger years. What I remember, the huge supermarkets which are 24 hours open. That time our supermarkets in Germany did close at 8 p.m. I did see people shopping in pajama, or similar. Baseball caps everywhere, that was very uncommon in Germany. Very friendly staff in the markets. Extremely friendly waiters, etc. Normal people were friendly too. Donuts. I remember we did buy fresh, warm donuts in the middle of the night, 2 a.m. or so. Americans are sometimes very prudish and religious. Guarded living, stone walls around houses, barriers in the driveway. You don't see this in Germany. The wide streets with six roads and more, crazy crossovers, unbelievable. Broken cars on the street, rust, no glass panel etc. People were moving their houses over the highways. We did see people who lived in their cars. You will never see such things in Europe. Gas was and is very cheap. Free refill and all you can eat. That was really something special. We felt a little bit guilty the first time we did a free refill. Very fat people with sometimes extremely huge asses. Sorry, but that is really very apparent. The American flags, the huge American flags, I did see an enormous flag by a car seller. I like the flags. If I would live in the States I would set up a flag too. I think it's different from Germany, where this is a no-go, because of our past. But if you travel to Denmark for example you will see a lot of Danish flags too. If you are proud of your country, why not run up a flag? I was very afraid of the police. Always thought, I don't want to have a problem with them. But on very few occasions, I had to deal with police, they were always very friendly to us. In Texas or Arizona we did see a car with a huge gun on the rear window. That's really awkward. In Germany I don't know a single person who possesses a gun. Very impressive, the huge trains with sometimes three or four locomotives and not ending cargo, and sometimes two to three containers one above the other. The very large distances, the good condition of the highways and the excellent infrastructure, motels, fast food, gas everywhere. Las Vegas, simply jaw-dropping. This is the most unbelievable city in the world, I love Las Vegas. Gambling around the clock, the lights, the craziness. I really like that in the USA, that to be crazy is very normal. The food. Really, we did love fast food. We did love Del Taco, Taco Bell, because we did not have Mexican fast food in Germany. And we really loved breakfast at McDonald's, so great. Television. The first few days I did watch hours of television. No joke. I did look at shopping TV, QVC etc. This was very new to me and I could not believe what I was seeing, selling watches and jewelry over TV. I always thought, it could be a problem, that I am a German, Second World War, Jews etc. But I was very surprised to see that Germans have a good reputation in the USA. Very funny for me, the stereotype of Germany in the USA. Oktoberfest, Cars and Bavaria. And the last one, how many people had connections to Germany, ancestors who did live in Germany, military service in Germany, etc. In the meantime I traveled 10 times to the USA. I married my first wife in Las Vegas, my second wife in Miami. I love the USA, this country has the best of everything, absolutely stunning nature on one side and man-made wonders on the other side, Las Vegas, Universal Studios, Hollywood etc. The thing I like the most, I instantly feel free, if I arrive in the USA. You feel the spirit of everything is possible and thing big. In Germany we have rules for everything. You are allowed to do what the laws permit. I think in the USA it's nearly the opposite, you are free to do what you want, the law simply lists the few exceptions, which are forbidden. Number 2. Coming from Europe I had memorized distances to bigger cities around from where I come in miles in case someone wanted to know where exactly my hometown was and didn't understand the metric system. Came to the US and realized everyone measures distance in hours here. 
Number 3. Dutch Mail, I was 18 when I went to the West Coast in summer 2001, my first and only time in the US. It's a long way back but here are some random culture shocks I remember, friendliness and civility of the people. I'd expected to be turned off by insincere toothpaste smiles and hi, how are you? Style greetings, where the person just continues talking, but I found myself really basking in the pleasantness of it all. It's just conventions and social lube of course, but it makes daily interactions so much nicer. I remember thinking it maybe wasn't such a bad concept. I missed that when I got back home. Not being able to order a beer at my age, which I could do at home. Really obese people. Like, 250 kilos, the land whales. We were practically pointing them out in astonishment. Huge cars everywhere, it was the SUV era. Lots of Hummers, which were rare in Europe. Those giant Ford F-150 F-350 trucks. American long-haul trucks with actual noses and exhaust pipes and blow horns on top, like in the movies. The surreality of everybody talking and sounding like we were in an American movie. It was like being in a place I never thought of as somewhere you could actually go and visit, sort of breaking the fourth wall. Huge, sprawling cities like LA and Vegas, built in a grid, engineered for cars. God was very visible in public life, sermons on AM radio. Beautiful, beautiful Pacific sunsets full of color, way nicer than the Merc we get here. Gigantic supermarkets that sold everything, and they were all open 24-7, same with chain restaurants. Greeters at stores, junior waiters who read the menu out loud. Number 4. Commenter. Cicadas really do make that sound. It's not just a sound effect in a movie. Person B. First time in the US me and my parents were debating for ages about if it was something man-made. We were almost positive it was, like a busted relay in some electrical box or something, but just a tiny bit doubtful it could perhaps just possibly be an animal. We'd pretty much made up our minds that it was man-made by the time we found it and it flew away. Number 5. Commenter. So many different chain restaurants. Also, I remember going to DC and Virginia when I was 10 or 11. I remember being so effing pumped because there was all this food on the shelves at supermarkets that I would always see advertised on TV but that we didn't get in Canada. I remember having my mind completely blown by the fact that spray cheese existed, and our American hosts finding it hilarious. Person B. Fellow Canuck. I remember going to Florida and begging my parents to get cookie crisp and rice crispy square cereal. Those were amazing and not available in Canada. Person C. I would like to second the obscure American foodstuffs part. They have all kinds of shit we can't get here in Canada, yet we're all familiar with from movies US commercials slash etc. Number 6. Commenter. First time I visited we drove from Toronto to somewhere in Rochester. Two things struck me, I was maybe 8 or 9. There were way more American flags on houses and everywhere else than there were Canadian flags in Toronto. When an ambulance went by I was really impressed with how quickly cars pulled to the side. We're terrible at that here and my assumption had been that Americans would be worse, but it was the complete opposite. Person B. The flags freaked me out. Such brazen pride in Britain is always associated with nationalists and fascists. It made me a bit uneasy, but I suppose it's just cultural differences. Person C. I noticed the flag thing, too. They put flags everywhere. I even saw one in a church in San Francisco. I've never seen a flag in a church anywhere else. Person D. I found the further south I traveled, the more amazing everyone was. My husband, and I got lost in the back streets of New Orleans at night, last October. Wandered out of the French Quarter into God only knows where. We originally feared for our lives, as Oak knows. Horrible Americans will kill us and take our shoes. But every young man we passed greeted me as mum and him as sir and most went out of their way to ask us how we liked their city, we loved it. Person E. I noticed the flags too on my first visit. That was pre-9-11. I remember the bus, from Canada to NYC, passing a Walmart that had a US flag that must have been 10 meter wide, sorry imperial system. Erm. 34 Farfenheims wide. Or is it 44 galleons? Anyway, big ass flag you could wrap a truck with. These huge flags were everywhere. I didn't get it. I'm still not sure if it's pride or propaganda. I also noticed that Americans called their country America, and it bugged the hell out of me. Sir, America is the continent. Number 7. Every store is detached from each other, and has their own car park. Every road is straight, key junctions and crossroads are everywhere, but no roundabouts. Drive through banks, drive through pharmacies. 
Shopping trolleys, carts, made from plastic. Because of the $1 bill, every vending machine takes paper money. Food and drink are cheap. People eat out more often than they eat at home. Roads are very wide, houses are set back far from the street, and have large front gardens. Everyone loves the English accent. So many large 4x4 vehicles, and pickup trucks. Commercials for medicinal products, also the amount of pills and potions the average person takes. If you say thank you to an American, they reply with your welcome. Store greeters. Telegraph poles absolutely laden with so many cables and wires stretching all down the street. Almost all buildings and houses are made of wood. Number 8. Good beer. Seriously. As a Scotsman my experience with Merck and beer was Bud Coors and Miller Lite. I took a job in MA for a year and braced myself for it to be a sober one. Two hours after landing I was drinking Sam Adams Boston Ale. Later that week I found beer warehouses full of microbrews. I stayed for five years. Number 9. I'm from Holland, GF is from FL. What I remember most of all from the times I visited is, not in order of importance, the nervousness and interrogation at the border. The beautiful landscapes and vastness. You're all's wonderful and contagious optimism. The people at BOA that didn't recognize my euro bills and didn't know if they could change them to dollar. Your stakes are fin epic and to die for. An old rundown Fazoli's is a comical place to visit. All luxury treats, bonbon chocolates, pastries etc. contain way too much sugar for my taste. It's like someone said, it's expensive. Throw more sugar in it. Your cheese truly sucks, sorry, I'm Dutch. Driving on the highway makes me feel like being part of a movie. I admire the US way of pride and showmanship, college football games. There's way too much male hormone and hostility going on at a wing house while they're showing a boxing match on TV. The sense of space and possibilities, don't like hot FL? Drive till you're tired, sleep, drive some more and you're in a whole different climate and surrounding. But you're still in the US and everybody welcomes you as a fellow American. When I was regarded as part of the GF's family, her parents gave me a .357 Magnum and wanted me to take it to Holland, WTF. I've seen a space shuttle take off, it's a feat for science and humanity and something to be proud of. Number 10. I've lived most of my life in the US but I am originally from Pakistan so I think I can give some of my experiences. How everything is so well taken care of. It's like going to the future. How nice most people are. The only somewhat racist comment I've had directed at me was by an old white woman who asked if I was a terrorist when I tried to get into my dad's condo building without a key. She let me in the lol. So much advertising everywhere. How big and nice the roads are. Generally very well taken care of. People follow traffic rules, accept slow traffic, keep right. How things actually get done here. In Pakistan to do something relatively simple, transfer of property, you need to grease palms or things will take years. While there is a bureaucracy with lots of red tape most people actually follow the rules and take pride in their work. The amazing amount of tech stuff you can get here and how cheap it is. I see so many Americans bitching about minor things but when I compare this country to Pakistan it's like an amazing future land where everyone can actually make something for themselves. You don't need to fight corruption and idiocy to get simple things done. Make sure to share your personal story in the comments below and have the opportunity to be featured in a future video. Also, if you like these topics don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to continue seeing more content like this every day. See you next time.